Hello there. Today um, we're going to be doing a Turkish lesson on the opposite meanings. So I've done a, a few words, new words for you to learn. And then what I'll do afterwards is I'll try and uh, use some of these words and make them into sentences. So I'd like to go through it with you. I hope you've got your pen and papers out and jotting all this down. And then see if you can put any, uh, make them into sentences. But first of all, let's go through it together. Uh, right, can you see the top part? Maybe not. So I've got two lines here. We'll start with as, as, chalk, chalk. As means little, chok means lots, lot, lot, or very. So you know, like we say, chok gazer, very nice, very pretty. Um, so we do use chok a lot. So as chok, little, lots. Küçük, küçük, büyük. Küçük, büyük. Small, big. E ye, so it's like the letter E, E ye, ke tu, ke tu, good, bad. E ye is good, ke tu is bad. I think you can see the rest if I put it back up here. Guzel, guzel, cheer kin. Cheer kin. Guzel is beautiful or pretty or nice. It can mean any of them. So beautiful, pretty, nice. Chirkin is ugly. Chirkin ugly. Kısa uzun. Kısa uzun. Short long. Kısa is short, uzun is long. Do lu, do lu, bosh, bosh, so sh, bosh. Do lu is full, bosh is empty. Do lu, bosh, full, empty. Mut lu, mut lu, üzgün. Üzgün. Mutlu is happy. Üzgün is sad. Mutlu, üzgün. Happy, sad. Soğuk, soğuk, soğuk. Sıcak, sıcak. Cold, hot. Soğuk is cold. Sıcak is hot. Temiz. Te miz kir li kir li temiz is clean kir li is dirty temiz kir li clean dirty in je in je ka lun fin and thick in je is fin Colour is thick. Zayif, Zayif, Shish man, Shish man, thin and fat. So we've got Inje and we've got Zayif, which means thin. So Inje, Zayif, they both mean thin, and Shish man is fat or colour is thick. Now we go to the other side. Again, I think I need to bring the board down a bit. So we've got açık kapalı. You normally get that on the um, shop's window, on the door. Açık means open, kapalı means close. Açık kapalı, open, close. Ön, ön, arka, ar. Ka, un is front, arka is back. Back 
cup again. Do ru, do ru, because um, the silent G, uh, G with their tail uh, or above, because it's not followed by another vowel, and normally it becomes silent if you've got a vowel before and after, like uh, we had, where's um, so, we had, yeah, we had so uk. So here, because we've got a vowel before and after, we're extending the vowel, so therefore the G becomes silent. So, so uk, so uk, we don't have to pronounce the G. In this case, do ru, do ru, we have to pronounce it because um, it's not followed by a vowel, it's followed by a consonant. So, do ru, do ru, yan lish, yan lish. Correct is do ru. Yanglish is wrong. You could also use this in um, true and false. So Doro would be the true, Yanglish would be um, false. So you could also use that. Um, correct, wrong. Doro, Yanglish. Correct, wrong. Yakun, Yakun. Uzak, Uzak. Yakun is near, Uzak is far. Yakun uzak near far. Fakir, fakir, sounds a bit rude. Fakir zengin. Fakir is poor, zengin is rich. Poor, rich, fakir zengin. Genç, yaşlı. Genç, yaşlı, young, old. Gench is young, yash le is old. So, again we have to pronounce the G. So, sol. So, sol. Right, left. So, sol. Sol, so, left, right. So, so is right, sol is left. S, ki. S, ki. Ye ni, ye ni. Eski is old, yeni is new. Eski, yeni, old, new. Yavash, yavash. Hızlı, hızlı. Slow, fast, slow, fast. Erken. Er ken getch getch er ken is early getch is late ujuz ujuz pahale pahale ujuz is cheap pahale is expensive ujuz pahale cheap expensive so that's all your words, the new words maybe for you to um, learn. And then like I said, I'll do a follow up on this uh, where I will make some of them into sentences. But um, if you can try and do that yourselves as well. Um, and then, I mean, looking at this, I suppose if you saw an incident and you wanted to explain, um, you know, someone short and long or um, thin and fat, don't go around calling people that now, um, if they were, or you saw somebody poor, or you seen something in the market and you think, oh that's cheap, çok ucuz, çok ucuz, which means very cheap, or çok pahalı, çok pahalı, very expensive. Um, yeah, so I hope you write them all down and learn them and then in the next uh, video I'll use some of these to make them into sentences and then we can go through how you would use them in sentences like um, uh, what else could we say we could say mutlu mutlu yum ben mutlu yum ben mutlu yum I am happy or ben üzgün um ben üzgün um I am sad. 
Um, or we could say, uh, what could we say? You could give directions. Uh, İleride sağa dön. Uh, further down the road, turn right. Uh, we could say, um, uh, yakın, yakın, benim evim yakın, my house is near, senin evin uzak, your house is far. Um, I don't know, I'll think of some uh, sentences and I'll do a video on it. I hope this has all been helpful to use. If you are serious about learning, you can always drop me a line what you need to know and I will do a video on that and I will uh, explain it to you or even send you a message, private message explaining all that to you. Okay, hope you enjoy, take care, thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to follow me for more videos. Until next time, bye for now, bye.